All right, we are here with Alex and Addison, and this is our first little spot. All right, so what have we got here that you want to show us? So here we have where Anna's moved it for the time being. Used to be in the south window. It has now decided to be over here. Okay, and what is it? It's a little statue pan. Very cool. And of course, the obligatory phallic symbol. Yay! Wiener, wiener, wiener. Yes, pagans are fertile, fertility freaks. Leave us alone. Yep. Oh, the kitty. All right. Over to our right. Um, angel altar. I sometimes work with them. Where's that at? Okay, move along. Move over this way where I can get you in. There we go. All right, what's this again? Um, angel altar. Okay, and what what brought this together? Um, they're who I've worked with the longest. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any books or anything that you have studied or are reading for your stuff? What's there? Uh, this entire bottom shelf, pretty much. Uh, Do you have a favorite book that you have that you want, might want to pull out and show the people to get? Yep. Each one of you pick your favorites. It's up there, right, right in front of the suites. Oh, yeah, that's nice. yeah. All right. First off, let's see here. All right. So, what do we have here, Addison? So, this is the ruins by Pisa. I'm not going to try and pronounce the last name, but it's a good introduction to Heschel. <laughs> it's a good introduction to runes. It's there are more books, but this one puts it more straightforward, roughly. Oh. And it even shows how to do. Divinations. Specials, different bind runes. That's Very cool. Yep. Yeah. All right, Alex, what's your book? Cottage Witchery, Natural Magic for Heart and Home by Ellen Dugan. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a good that's a good book. Yeah. And yeah, and they've got just a bunch of different books down there. Some people have, yeah. that's another thing. Some people ask, do you have to have a big library? You have as big as you can afford. Yeah. Best thing is to go out into nature and actually live it. Exactly. All right. Where's the next spot that you want to show? Here's the ancestor altar. Okay. And what do we have here? Uh, each of these are for, well, mostly Lex's ancestors. I'm still learning about mine. So, but there are some for Patty, like the chicken <laughs> or the flask. Yeah, the flask and also the picture behind uh, yeah. in the bear. Yeah, a picture of an old friend that died recently, about two or three years ago. And Penny loves to sit up here, which is why everything is knocked over. Yeah. <laughs> she loves ancestor pets. Very cool, yep. very cool. Are you kissing Cthulhu down there? Yeah, she is. Very cool. The next one's in the bedroom, actually. Yep. All right, we'll go in here and go to the bedroom. Uh, probably take them around. Take them that way. Yeah. We got a hole there, so. So the Morgan is over here. Oh, right here in the window? Yep, yep. Fairly simple altar. Woohoo, I have that statue at home. Very cool. All right. Oh! Okay, hold up. Here, I'm going to have you guys stand in front of that. Yep. I'm going to come over here and sit on the edge of the bed if you don't mind. Yep. Whoa. So, <laughs> what do we have here? This is our big altar. Main altar. Yes, main altar. I like it. I like, so what What do we have all on it and around it? Kind of name some stuff off. So this is the altar cloth we've had for three years. Three years. Very cool. It was made by Fluff and Ruffles. Yep, Fluff and Ruffles. She does commissions. Yes. Very cool. Candles, shells. Um, I like the staff. Got my runes up here as well. <laughs> Very cool. And a sword. Several swords. Several swords. Several swords. Two walking sticks. Well, 
Because I'm hard. They're both very full sticks. And I'm gonna pan and get in on the raven. Raven for Raven Temple. Look at that. That is awesome. And we have little secret offering items like. Ooh, what is it? It's a bowl. It's an offering bowl. It's an offering bowl. So that way, oh. cat gets, so that way the cat decides to jump on there if you want to knock it. Knock it over. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. As well as offering plates. Yep. Offering plates. Where did we get those from? From Alchemist Attic. Yeah, from Alchemist Attic when it was still open. So, folks, just so you know, it's like everybody has their different ways of doing things and it's just a matter of flair some people just want to you know go out and spend hundreds of dollars my stuff has kind of come together over the years but all you need is just a table or uh you know just a desk or just a little corner shelf or something in your home and you can have any kind of space that you want made into a sacred space and here later we're going to go into alex and Addison's yard because they have the big spot yep. and hopefully here pretty soon uh, We'll be doing ritual. We don't miss we do anything tonight But I mean, you know once the weather starts to kind of chill back down a little bit yep. because Like the last time that we could have done ritual Pam was sick and I didn't want to get any yeah. if Pam We could have gotten sick. I didn't want anybody else getting sick, but unfortunately Pam Forbes one of the good friends of the coven that came down from uh, Columbia. Columbia all the time recently died. Yeah. So we're going to be doing a lot of stuff remembering her mm -hmm. for uh, Samhain upcoming and stuff too. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say thank you very much Addison and Alex for showing us your home and letting us see your altars and some of your books and your kitties and, and all that stuff. And it's like yeah we're going to be doing this a lot. We're going to be going through the seasons and just you know seeing how things go with people yeah. how we live and stuff like that and so yeah and it's like you could do it too don't let nobody else say that you can't yeah. you can be pagan just be very careful yeah like i said if you have to you know be careful about things do so because like i said i don't want to advocate for something for people if it could possibly you know mess up things with their life and okay. stuff but here you know, it's like, we're just going to keep right on along. We're going to be doing Nova Springfield Community Wiccan Church. We're going to be doing Raven Temple. We're going to keep on going until the wheels fall off. So, I'm going to shut this off in here in the next little part of the video. Uh, here after a while. We're going to see what uh, the creation of Alex tastes like. Because, yeah. yeah. That's another thing. I knew that Alex was the cook. And so, yeah. because of the fact that I said, come get me at 4 o'clock. I didn't eat anything. So that way, I can have an objective stomach whenever we go to take it out of the oh. oven and eat it. So, say bye. Wait, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, and bye. we'll see you guys in the next part of the video. Click. Click. I think.